To extra depth and perspective, it was a year where the world was forced into multiple lockdowns, businesses closed their doors for the final time, and people lost their jobs. The pandemic negatively impacted almost everything except for the city of El Paso's sales tax revenue. The city is seeing numbers that even surprised the chief financial officer. Even more surprising, it was all done while some of El Paso's most loyal shoppers were not allowed to cross the border. ABC 7's Dylan McKim investigates how this is possible. It is definitely a year we would love to forget. Elodia Perches has owned Bridal Novias for 39 years, and this was its toughest year yet. Bridal Novias experiencing a steep loss in revenue. Oh my goodness, what about like 90%? You heard her correctly, 90%. 90%. It is reality. Weddings in quinceañeras canceled or pushed back during the pandemic. And some of her most loyal customers, those in Ciudad Juarez and Casas Grandes, unable to get to her store. Elodia was forced to change the way she outfits future brides. <laughs> driving dresses across the border to her customers. Like I call myself Ella Bluebird now that I actually deliver baskets door to door. But even without Mexican customers, Bridal Novias by Elodia was able to bounce back thanks to customers in El Paso and Las Cruces. The same happened to the city's sales tax. With so many businesses closed and locked, the city feared a devastating drop in the sales tax revenue, the second largest source of income for the general fund behind your property taxes. Heading into the pandemic, in both 2018 and 2019, the annual sales tax grew over 5%. Looking at sales tax revenue starting in September of 2019, El Paso sees some healthy growth all the way into February of 2020. But then disaster strikes. The start of the pandemic drastically decreasing sales tax revenue in March and April. Now, El Paso does see a slow bounce back to pre-pandemic levels for the sales tax. But we do see a plateau at the end of 2020. Now, on the flip of the calendar year to 2021, a skyrocket in sales tax revenue. Take a look at these numbers. April 2021, almost 40% higher than April 2020. We really bounced back quite quickly and a, pretty much a surprise, I think, to a lot of people. The city says the biggest growth comes from retail trade. That category includes things like building materials, automotive, and clothing. What's amazing about this bounce back is that it's been done without the Mexican shopper. According to Borderplex Alliance, between 15 and 30 percent of retail sales in El Paso come from Mexico. But since these border restrictions have been in place, their money has had to stay in Mexico for over a year. Covering the gap, consumer spending thanks to the federal stimulus checks that hit a majority of Americans' bank accounts. That's according to Robert Cortinas, the CFO of the city of El Paso. Plus, he says, El Paso historically has a very strong economy, even bouncing back quickly after the recession in 2008. El Paso is a very, a very strong economy. We don't see the really high fluctuations, but we also don't see the really low fluctuations. Cortinas says this trend of high sales tax revenue will not continue. Things will return to normal levels soon. And normalcy is what Elodia is waiting for when all of her customers, both Mexican and American, can try on the most important dress they'll ever wear right in her store. I want to remain positive and know that love is not canceled and that we are, we are here to stay for the long run. Dylan McKim, ABC7. Right now, the border restrictions have been extended until at least August 21st. This means once again, another shopping season lost for El Paso retailers, the back to school rush. For extra perspective, Dylan also looked at sales tax revenues on other parts of the border. Take a look. The graph here shows the difference in total sales tax revenue between fiscal year 2019 and 2020. All of these cities seeing a drop in sales tax, El Paso seeing a 5.5% drop. The only border city doing better than El Paso is Brownsville, but McAllen and Laredo seeing much larger drops. And that story produced in partnership with the Puente News Collaborative.